As I talked about in my book, the movement of the right shoulder for a right-handed golfer has a big influence on the movement of the club head path through impact. Most golfers slice the ball and they know that their club head is moving on an outside in club head path. Most also think that the hands are doing that. But the way I think of it is, on the beginning of the downswing, if the shoulder goes over, the hands and the arms will follow. So this is kind of the beginning of the system. So the shoulder movement will have a lot to do in how it's influencing the club head path through impact. Now before I get into that a little bit further, I want to talk to you just again about posture. If you haven't watched that video, go back and watch it. You need to have this tilt in your posture to do this. If you set up like this, like most golfers do, with a very vertical spine angle and a lot of knee bend, your shoulders are going to want to rotate horizontally. So you want to get a nice tilt in your posture. I'm going to do a couple of swings really slow to show you. First I'm going to go over the top and watch the movement of the club as I move my right shoulder over. Now I'm going to reverse it. I'm going to go from the inside. And to do that, I'm going to make my right shoulder, my right arm, and my right hand kind of move down and toward the inside part of the golf ball. Again, I'll do it slow so you can see it. So you can see how that shoulder movement will really influence the movement of the golf club. Try focusing on it and see if that gets you a better club head path through impact.